That's right. That gets you in the rhythm. I'm live. Tracy Zulo at the First Union Arena. Globetrotters set to tip off tonight at 7 o'clock. But before we talk about the Globetrotters, it's WBRE against BHT tonight in a charity basketball event. All the proceeds tonight go to the St. Vincent de Paul Soup Kitchen. You can bring non-perishable foods to tonight's game. Drop them off at the front door. It's for a good cause. Everyone out here participating for charity. And obviously, some of our guys on hand uh, might need a hand after this one. Meantime, right now, the game starts at 7 o'clock. Joining me now is Mr. Showbiz, Matt Jackson. Obviously, great thing to be a part of the Globetrotters. Tell me a little bit about what you do to involve the fans in this activity. Well, uh, fortunately for me, I have the pleasure of uh, playing Mellow Out the Lemon. You know? I'm taking over as the crown prince of basketball. It's my job is to keep the fans entertained and get them involved in the game. It's something that we love to do. Uh, we play over 250 games a year. It's exciting to be opening up the new arena here, so we're thrilled to be here. Tell me a little bit about the, the tradition of this game and obviously the tricks you guys do. How do you guys work on those things? Uh, well, we work every day. We practice at least four hours a day. Uh, we play every night. Uh, tonight we'll play, and we're driving to Philly for, to get ready for two shows tomorrow. So, I mean, you know, what we try to do is keep up with traditional stuff. You're going to see the water and the confetti. Uh, we have some new and exciting players that you need to watch, Michael Wildfang, Wilson, and Curly Blue Johnson. No water on me, though, right? I'll be, I'll be safe, right? Well, uh, we, if you stay out of the way a little bit, uh, we might not oh. might try to keep it off. Can you show guys uh, little tricks right now, maybe? Oh, yeah. Keith Martin is jealous. Is jealous. That's good stuff. That's simple, huh? If somebody wanted to learn this, how would they learn it? Well, they have to practice like we do. Got to practice hard and make sure you're doing good in school. I always tell the kids, you know, basketball lasts a season, but education lasts a lifetime. It certainly does. I appreciate your time. Good luck tonight Thank and everything. You Thank you for being here. I appreciate right. it. Thanks. Y'all come on out. <laughs> okay, also tonight, Sweet 16 of the NCAA Division II, three tournament starts tonight between Kings and Scranton. If you want to catch all the action, these two teams have met several times during the regular season. Should be a good game tonight. We'll have the highlight, we'll have the details tonight at 11, the scores, and who did all in all the action from that game. Meantime, Penn State got a huge, huge win today in the Big Ten tournament. Penn State, yes, Jerry Dunn's team got their biggest win of the year. Late in the second half, TSU up one. Titus Ivory off the glass. Jared Stevens there for the follow-up slam. Your final, Penn State 71-66. PSU will play Illinois on Saturday afternoon. Meantime, a big trade in, in baseball involving our Red Barons, one of the local favorites. The Phillies send former Red Baron Wendell McGee to Detroit for a minor leaguer pitcher, Bobby Simondu. Last year, the Barons for the Barons, McGee hit 283 with 20 home runs and 79 RBI. Not bad at all. Meantime, in NASCAR, big news to report today. Bill Elliott will leave Ford after this season and drive for Dodge owner Ray Everham, Jeff Gordon's former crew chief, so obviously some little details there to be ironed out. Dodge is returning to NASCAR after a 15-year absence in the sport of racing. Meantime, Dan Marino also is a plan to announce his retirement on Monday. I'm Tracy Zulo, live from the First Union Arena. The Globetrotters and BRE doing their thing. Thanks for joining us. Back to you, Keith. And you know you can't control the Globetrotters. Nobody can. When we come right back, Vince Sweeney joins us with one more look at the forecast. And talk about frequent flyer miles. This Lackawanna County woman has her name in the record books. We'll find out why. Love your home with special values on Broy Hill Furniture from Grand Central and Hazleton. Northeast PA's only Broy Hill Showcase Gallery. You'll love the savings on Broy Hill Casual or Pillowback Sofas, now just $6.99. This Fontana Collection dining room table is only $6.99. Or enjoy the elegance of a Broy Hill Continental Tapestry Bedroom. Get no money down, no payments, and no interest financing for one full year. Love your home with Broy Hill Furniture from Grand Central and Hazleton. We've got a Scott towel we think is pretty amazing. So we thought it made sense to test it out under some tough conditions. We made a bad mess. Okay. See, only Scott towels have ridges designed to pick up spills even quicker than you know who. It's a winner. Scott towels with ridges. Common sense on a roll. Tonight's primetime lineup beginning at 8 p.m. on 28 WBRE TV. Some people are so severely injured in accidents that they will never be the same again. Our justice system can only make up for that devastating kind of loss with a monetary award. If that sum is large, it gets a lot of attention. 
But I can tell you that not one seriously injured person would want the money if they could have their quality of life back again. Wouldn't you make the same choice? Credentials and experience from the family of lawyers at Munley, Munley & Carter. What if you had to choose? What if you had to choose between 20% worth of free furniture or six months free financing? Would you take the $200 in free furniture for every $1,000 you spend or pay nothing for six months? If you come to Nathan's Furniture this weekend, you won't have to choose. You'll get both the 20% worth of free furniture and absolutely no payment financing for six full months. You can have both for a very limited time and only at Nathan's Furniture. It is not spring yet, is it, Vince? Uh, no, no, we've been counting the days, and we've also been enjoying these lovely uh, couple of days we've had here. They're, <laughs> they're out of here. All right, don't worry, tonight, tonight, temperatures, 30s for most of us. Nothing doing except a lot of clouds. But tomorrow, rain's coming across the area, and it will rain tomorrow and tomorrow night. And tomorrow night, some of that rain could be heavy and also a thunderstorm. Keep in mind, as that rain gets underway tomorrow midday, could be some snow or sleet mixed in with it, and we don't get warm through the middle of next week. Bye. We've heard it all. Yes, sir. All right. Finally tonight, what's so special about a Lackawanna County woman landing an airplane in Avoca? Well, it marks a major milestone in her career as a pilot. Margaret Burdett Waltz of Moscow is one of the busiest ferry pilots in the world. She delivers planes across the globe by flying them there, and today she landed at the Wilkes-Barre Scranton International Airport after her 500th crossing of the Atlantic. That's the most by any woman anywhere. The next closest woman has only 330 crossings. Burdick Waltz has logged nearly 16,000 hours in the air. We are very proud. It is time now for NBC Nightly News, right now.